Wendy's had a huge impact. She's really valued educational research and scholarship. She is brilliant in thinking about ways to impact on the overall healthcare system. She taught me about courage. So things that everyone said, we shouldn't go there, we shouldn't do it. Wendy's always the person there to say, but if we don't do it, who's going to do it for us? Her early claim to fame was the really groundbreaking studies she did that looked at how much communication between doctors and patients could affect um, patient care and patients' perceptions of their care. And um, those studies are still really seminal in our field. She brings that knowledge and that sensibility to all of the work she does. She's a very powerful communicator as a leader, and she places emphasis on the importance of communication in terms of actually getting the job done when it comes to what we need to do as academics. Wendy was the one who actually started a master teacher program, which is one way to actually develop the next generation of clinician who are not only expert, but also are very skilled teachers. And to this date, we benefit from that master teacher program. Wendy touched all of the aspects of quality improvement here in terms of practical work of interest to the ministry as well as academic development. She really pretty much single-handedly has made quality improvement and patient safety a recognized academic activity, not just a clinical activity. She's promoted it within the culture of the university. She's helped to advance career tracks for people to pursue that academically. And she's translated it into national initiatives with Choosing Wisely. Wendy, the Order of Canada is well deserved. You are an incredible role model for so many people. You continue to do incredible work. And I want to warmly congratulate you on the Order of Canada, which is so richly deserved. We couldn't be more proud of you.